Hi foodies, what you think about some curry catfish? Yes, this is my auntie's favorite fish, curry down dry. Let's get started. So here I have some catfish steak that I got in the local supermarket. I give it in, gonna give it a good clean with some salt and some milk. Yes, that's right, regular milk, any milk. Just let it sit there for like 10 minutes. It's gonna bring that lovely freshness back into the fish and it's gonna have a clean, beautiful fishy fresh no catch out of the ocean taste you're going to get by doing it this method so give it a good wash now with lime and lemon juice give it a good scrub because you know catfish is a very earthy flavor because it's one of those fish that is found in the bottom of the sea the ponds you know very murky muddy earthy flavor you get in there so make some pokes now in that fish steaks let us add some lemon juice to it and we're going to add some lovely flavors and spices into the steak so it will just absorb and get in there so we could try to take away some of that muddy taste that's the taste i get i like a muddy taste that's the best way i could explain it to you leave me a comment how you like your catfish and the taste that you get and how do you eliminate that flavors out of it so here is my lovely flavors simple and easy do it spices add it on and just rub it on both sides make those pokes so all those lovely flavors could get inside now here's my green seasoning onion ginger garlic pepper tomato and here's some tamarind sweet spicy tamarind i'm going to be adding into that and give that a little mix into the water so the pulp could release and come out from that tamarind and this is my lovely fish curry masala i'm going to be using so my fish is ready i'm going to just add a little bit of flour on both sides because i want to give it a gentle fry not fry to cook but just to harden up the meat a little bit my oil is up to heat let's drop that in there and let's get a lovely beautiful golden brown color on both sides this looks marvelous let's take it out and i'm going to use that same oil now let's carry the catfish so in goes the ginger garlic and peppers some methi some cumin seed the curry leaves and the bay leaves in goes the tomato nice ripened tomato give you a lovely tangy taste and sweetness and also add some color here is that seasoning all the bandania podina you name it here is some dry shrimp this is totally optional but seeing we're doing seafood let's just add a little bit in there great flavors after four minutes the that tomato melt really nicely let's add that masala powder in there and give that a good mix and i want this to cook on medium low for two minutes and warm up that spice so it can release all its lovely flavor now in goes the tamarind pulp in that water and let this cook now for two to three minutes on very low heat again everything here we just build in flavor to infuse into that lovely catfish here is some um, fish flavor base or maggi cube fish flavor base whatever one you have you could add it in now you just see water you just see oil at the top now you add the water in there and let's give this a good boil angry boil in there now let's place our fish now this fish need to cook because it's a bit thick it's a different texture from a regular fish so it needs like 15 minutes to really boil and cook nicely firm texture you're going to be looking for so flip that little gravy or that masala liquid onto your fish and we're going to leave this now on medium high and leave the pot a little open for the first five minutes that looks marvelous and the kitchen smells divine now put that lid on and let it continue to boil this is a fish my auntie will ask the fisherman to bring for her on a friday and she will cook this with lots of um flavors in there this is some lemon dry skin to add some more tangy flavors in there here this is all done now with uh, sprinkle some flavors in there my seven spice and my coriander and my fresh herbs and my auntie will eat this with a nice drink of white rum lovely dish here from jenny's walk